Welcome back. Hey, everyone. Another on-air episode. My name is Aaron Hunter, a senior technical trainer with Amazon Web Services Training and Certification. And here we have with me, Amy. Hi, Amy Moffitt. I'm the strategic account manager that's been working with Salesforce Marketing Cloud for the past few years. With us, we have MK. Hey, everyone. Uh, glad to be with you all virtually at AWS reInvent. I'm Murlidhar Krishna Prasad, also called MK. I'm the EVP for engineering in Salesforce. Glad to be part of the show uh, and great working with the AWS team, uh, Amy and others. Awesome. MK, thank you. MK and Amy, thank you for joining us here at reInvent 2022. So excited to have you. Um, MK, wh why are you here? What, what's going on with your, your role at Salesforce today? All right. Yeah. So we are here to talk about some new innovation we have done, uh, which runs on AWS. Uh, we call it Genie. Genie sounds super magical, almost like maybe it's doing some magical stuff. Uh, do I rub a lamp somewhere or? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. But before we talk about Genie, so maybe I should uh, bring about, uh, let people know what is Salesforce? Uh, I'm sure a lot of you know about Salesforce. Maybe some of you don't. Uh, so if you sort of bring up the slide, Salesforce is one of the largest enterprise software company in the world. But I think as a company, we pride ourselves more than uh, that in that we're a leader in philanthropy, culture, innovation, and also the huge number of trailblazers that we actually change their lives. And the main thing that we do is all about customers, right? So we are sort of the number one in sales, service, marketing, commerce, uh, and others. So we really put the customer at the center of every business. That's really what we do. And so to your question, Aaron, so what are we doing with Genie? <laughs> it sounds kind of magical. I think the challenge that people have in all of this stuff is you have all this data across all of these things, right? And how many times have you gone, Have you might have gotten this awesome marketing email that is like super personalized saying, hey, come, Aaron, I know you get this discount. And then you go to the website, it's completely disconnected. I get or so excited call... for those. I know. <laughs> or you call <laughs> that call service center. They don't even know who you are, right? <laughs> I think uh, the surprising factor is it's so prevalent across the industry. This is not just any one industry, right? But it's pharmaceuticals to automotive to like banks to everything. Uh, even Salesforce had the same problem. Like you go to Trailblazer ID, that's different than your other IDs in the system, right? And so that is a general huge challenge across the industry that we have. And really the challenge that we face is two things. One is you, you need to build complex systems to just bring all that data together. But even if you're bringing complex systems, often what happens is you have different patterns of data that you need to do, right? Whether it's real-time decisioning, ML, analytics, even processing, building new applications, or just a lake to store all your data. Today, our recommendation is completely different systems across all of them, right? Now, it's not the fact you can't build all the system. The challenge is when you pop up to that business level. Remember, we're talking sales agents and service agents, right? Business developers, right? A lot of connections. Yeah, exactly. Correct. And they are not like your deep SQL experts, or they're not like these deep uh, sort of Spark experts, etc. And so, the thing that what we are trying to do is to really create that system that can pull all your data from across all of these systems together and really democratize this data so that your business users can use it very easily. Right? Uh, so Genie is magical because it helps uh, the users simplify the process and get the data they need. That is correct. And so this is, we are talking real-time data. We are talking hyperscale data. Like think of like every signal from EV cars come in or think of like all your massive sort of data that might be pouring in from all your backend and front end systems kind of thing, right? But then how do we make it easy so that your business users can create new apps or just use them in their lines of business, whether it's Tableau analysis, whether it's like ML model creation and so on, right? So that is the power of Genie. And, there is a very, very, very big thing that we have done, uh, which is that we took what was the traditional Salesforce platform, right, that you all know, which runs on Hyperforce. As you know, Hyperforce runs on our AWS platform. And then we had the traditional transactional databases, our AI flow, and all the application stack that was kind of built on it, right? This was great built for 
sort of B2B scale and like transactional kind of applications. Okay. And just didn't build like a separate sort of standalone big data platform or real-time data platform, right? We really brought that power of that big data and real-time into the Salesforce platform. That's the genie magic. So we have made the whole platform magic, right? So that way the data and the insights you're collecting is not going to enrich your entire 360. So next time you get a personalized mail powered by Genie, you call the service agent, they know exactly who okay. you are, right? And I'll say, hey, this software. email was derived by, by a magical Genie. So you mentioned ML and data sets and data lakes. And um, are there any AWS services that have helped you create Genie? Yeah, so um, uh, Genie, as I think I've made uh, previous, uh, I think, videos also on this, right? How AWS helped us sort of build some of the foundational aspects before. Uh, so all of Genie is powered by AWS services today. And so that means we use all of the big data services, whether it's Spark clusters running on EMR, whether it's S3, DynamoDB, many others, right? And so we are able to scale to pretty tremendous numbers. Like I'm talking hundreds of thousands of requests per second per customer or petabytes of data per customer, right? So we're still running a multi-tenant system, but the fact we could even scale to those numbers is pretty magical. But I think there is something more we have done on top, which I think will just blow your mind away. Uh, I'm, and waiting. That's, I'm yeah. waiting for it. <laughs> and that's the integration we have done with SageMaker. Uh, and what we call as the zero copy SageMaker. Zero copy SageMaker. Uh, can you talk more about that maybe? Yeah. So what we have done is when we built sort of Genie, so this is not just Genie that was built saying some sort of closed platform. So we built Genie to be an open source platform, even at the storage level. So that wow. means... Yeah, so what that means is we worked with AWS, we worked with all the other industry partners. And so we have created, let me show you, let me bring you the slide. So we have created basically a storage level, open sort of storage platform that's built on Parquet, that's built on Iceberg. And it's also real time because as changes are coming and there's not a batch based system, things are getting updated in real time on desk, right? These are huge innovations. But we did one more thing that we worked with SageMaker on, which is we are exposing these things live to SageMaker. So traditionally, if you think about it, what do you have to do to do demo? You take all your data sets, copy everything to some other place, right? To do yeah. demo. Well, right? take your data, clean your data, then copy it all over and do all the magic to it. Yeah, exactly. then run build your models. But it seems like you have this new product, this this uh, open SageMaker that's open source, and you're using it to really just make a lot of data that's real time, powerful, and enhance Genie to make it even more magical. Oh, I'm so excited. Correct. And not just that, there's not just some random data, right? This is all your customer data, which is harmonized, unified. So you know it's exactly the same Aaron or the same Amy who was like purchased my product, who was like had the sales call or like service incident. And imagine that rich data that you have. It's now available in SageMaker, so all your data scientists can just literally work on that data. No copies needed, no ETL needed, right? You don't have to worry about all that. It's still secured by your Salesforce admin, so that way you don't have to worry about security challenges. Uh, and you create the models, you can host this in SageMaker and give the inference back so that you can use all of Genie and all of Salesforce, right? Your flows, your queries, your transforms, right? Uh, or you can also bring that model back into Einstein as well. Wow. MK, thank you so much for being here. Really do appreciate it. Um, where can people go to learn more about Genie or contact the teams if they have questions? Yeah, absolutely. At, uh, if you go to Salesforce uh, Genie, uh, if you search on that, there you get all this information and more. Uh, we have a lot of videos there and a lot of content for you to kind of uh, get more knowledge about it. Awesome. Thank you so much, MK and Amy, for being here. Everyone, stay tuned. We have more uh, coming from On Air Live at reInvent 2022.